Stand in the middle and blow one of us to fucking sleep. We don't need to fucking wrestle. I ain't fucking Khabib. We're here to fucking fight. Drykus, you guys, he ain't fucking titty, is he? Drykus likes to fight. He likes to fight, and he's a hell of a fight. You know what that means? We're gonna be dick to dick, nipple to nipple in that fucking range, fucking fighting, bro. And I hope, I hope after we're done, I hope after we're done, win or lose, we're fucking bloody, and we put on a show for you fucking guys. Everybody, calm down. This man's a fucking warrior. We're gonna, hey, we're gonna fucking fight hard for you fucking guys. And pl applaud him and encourage him because we want a fucking war. Damn, Canada. Your booze suck way worse than Vegas booze, I have to tell you that. You have to get a lot louder than that. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Now you can almost compete. But to answer your question, listen. This is a fight where anybody who knows fighting knows this fight will be one hell of a fight. Is this fight going the distance? Probably not. Sean Shigan has, has a style of going forward. In his last couple of fights, we saw him not only jab and throwing a one-two, we saw him putting pressure on. I'm a guy that goes forward, I don't fight backwards. All my fights are finishes. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. And like you said, no matter where you look at it, you're getting the show you're paying for, and that's all I'm here for. Yeah, I mean, the way we, the way we uh, go into the fight, everybody has their different motivations. Some people fight for the fun of it, some people uh, do it for titles, some do it for money. I'm there to be the best in the world, and that's why I'm going out there Saturday night. It was never fucking personal. You had the cuck Sean O'Malley say some stupid shit he knows nothing about. I go hard on everybody, you guys. You don't think I deserve a little shit, bro? I go hard on all of you motherfuckers. I, I'm, I'm proud of the motherfucker. You don't see me lose character often. This motherfucker got me there. No fucking A, goddamn, let's go. Let's go, dog. Let's fucking go. Let's go. So real talk, real talk. Let's go, fucking savage. Real talk though, you guys. Me and Drykus, we're gonna try to fucking kill each other for you guys. Drykus, can I get an agreement? Do the fucking death. Do the fucking death. Yes! Goddamn respect him for that. Well, I have one fight in my whole career that win the decision. How did that go? Lost the first round, won both second and third, and that happens to be a teammate of Sean Strickland. So, yeah, I uh, hope that answers the question. Listen, man. Listen, you guys. I wrestle every day, sadly. Well, let's, let's treat this like fucking men. Stand in the middle and put one of us to fucking sleep. We don't need to fucking wrestle. I ain't fucking Khabib. We're here to fucking fight. You know, man... Now let me, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you guys something. And this is what the media doesn't understand when it comes to me and you guys and Australian fans. Let me tell you guys something. You guys don't care about me fighting. Yeah, me and Drykus, we're going to have a death match. Someone's going to get their hand raised. Someone's going to get their hand raised. But when have you ever seen a UFC champion, George St. Pierre, anybody else, stick up for you f***ing guys? I f***ing do it. I do it. I am not chasing the Chinese check mark of Nike. I don't give a f*** about that. I care about you guys. I care about you guys being free. I care about you guys having freedom of speech. I give a f*** about you guys, 
And I'll tell you what, you guys are fucking awesome, and I cannot wait to see this man to fucking go to war for you fucking guys. Let's go.